think the best way to start people on a healthy path is to show them how their bodies are made and show them that they are not meant to eat meat. They're not meant to really consume protein and stuff like that. So the best thing I can do or the best analogy is I will take you into nature. Nature is your biggest classroom. Nature is your biggest teacher. Everything will change, but the actual fundamental principles of nature, even if you go and you cut down all the trees, you can burn all these forests. It's going to grow back. It's going to reproduce and it's going to heal itself. Your body heals itself naturally. If you fall down and get a boo-boo on your knee, three days later, it's going to scab up. After that scab, you're going to pick it off. After it picks off, your skin going to be discolorated for what another three to four days and then it's going to be like this scab never exists did anybody have a hand in that process did you have to go get some pharmaceutical drugs no you didn't you probably put a band-aid on there because that's what we've been conditioned to do but notice that scar healed by itself so if the outside tissues of my body that's made of cells can regenerate themselves then what about the inside of my internal organs or my eternal organs shouldn't they be able to do the same thing and go through the same process if my scab can heal itself then that means your insides can do that as well what they need to know is how to assist the body in detoxification and how to assist the body in healing the best way is to eat according to your biological makeup we are not made to eat meat our body is made to break down proteins but these are called simple amino acid structures like for instance when you eat a food you have something called amylase and trypsin these are secretions or that comes through your salivary glands that water up your mouth this is amylase this is an alkaline secretion that's made to break down alkaline food so the best way to heal the body is when you're going through a detoxification or you're feeling yourself becoming sick or with disease which is nothing but a detoxification help the body detox more the first thing you have to realize is the foods you're supposed to be eating so i say look at your hands do a cat hands look like your hands no no they have paws what about a dog uh, no okay. what about a bear no what about a lizard no. what about any reptile do their hands look like yours mm -mm. okay so what do your hands look like what about a gorilla uh, yeah, yeah. So now we're getting into actually the physiology of the human body in the food relationship. So look at your body, look into nature, find who your body closely assimilates with and see what they eat. Do gorillas eat meat? No. No, they don't. The strongest in the jungles. Very muscular. Could a, right now, could a lizard go up to a tree and pick an apple from the tree with his fingers? No. No, it can't. What about a grizzly bear? Can a grizzly bear go to a tree, pick an orange, and peel that orange with his fingers? No. No, it can't. And his claws are way too long. Right. Could a gorilla go to the tree, pick an orange, and peel the orange? Yes, yes, yes it, can. it can. So so now we're starting to get into this, this physiology food relationship. Your hands are different from every other species on planet Earth. Let's go to our teeth. Is dog's teeth like ours? No. No, they have long canines too. And they, they canines or even felines, the cats, canines are for penetrating meat and flesh and ripping it from the bone. Mm -hmm. Can you go in the jungle right now and bite through a calf all the way down to the bone and rip the meat? No. No, you can't. Oh, what about this? Let's get into the lower extremities, our legs. Can you get up to 40 to 50 to 70 miles an hour to track down your prey and to chase it down? No, you can't. But you see, in the animal kingdom, as far as a carnivore, they have long canines. They're horizontal. They're not vertical. They don't stand upright like us. They're horizontal. They sit low to the ground, but they can get up to 50 miles an hour to chase their prey down. When they chase their prey down, they use their claws to rip the juggler. Not only that, they use their claws to rip the flesh open. They got canines for when they bite into the actual meat, they can rip the meat from the bone. When they swallow this food and actually the meat goes into their stomach, their intestinal tracts is only from 6 to 16 feet long. Guess what your digestional tract is? 30 to 36 feet long. So you can't have that meat inside of your stomach too long because you will get putrefaction. See that we, our digestive process go through something called fermentation, where these things break down into fructose and glucose, and we use that fructose and glucose for energy. Theirs don't break down through fermentation. They break down into putrefaction, which means the rotting flesh thereof. Rotting flesh in your stomach yields all types of parasites. That's why you see dogs with parasites, cats with parasites. These parasites is very gnarly to our body, and it eats all of our organelles out of our cells, meaning our cells cannot function without its organs, right? So even the digestinal tract is different. They hydrochloric 
acid is 10 times hotter than ours. Their hydrochloric acid is meant to break down their food. Then you see they got tails. Most of their tails is to actually pivot them to the wind. And at the tip of them, they have senses for their environments. They sense the smell is way and heightened than ours because they have to smell blood from off from afar. So everything, they ears pitch up for they can hear things. These are predators. So if you look at a predator, predators are built like that. Predators eat meat. Predators are omnivores. But when you look at an actual frugivores, which is what I've done, came to the conclusions that we're, are we supposed to eat mainly fruits and a little bit of vegetables? We're not built like predators. Our anatomy is built like nurturers, like hunter and gatherers. It's a total type of different molecular build when it comes to our body and our biochemistry. Humans are the, and gorillas and some monkeys are the only things that can walk up and lift their arm up and have the luxury of pulling an apple from the tree and biting into that apple. We don't have to chase it. It's there waiting on us. We're the only ones. You see that? And when you look at it, name any other animal that can go to that tree and do those things. So I would say this, look at your molecular structure, go into nature, study your own body because you're in it your whole life. Ain't nobody else in it but you. You should know everything about it. And that will, that will automatically show you the foods you're supposed to be eating. Is you don't even have to think about it too hard. You just got to get away from the indoctrination and the education of these school systems because they will never teach you nothing to set you free because you being enslaved mentally is how they benefit off of you. So the moment that they teach you something that's going to liberate your mind that's going to stop them in their pockets why would they stop revolutionizing their money systems so they would never teach you anything to make you free ever so we have to take everything that they ever tell us is bullshit and one of them is that food pyramid that dairy is good for the bones and calcium literally milk actually strips the bone of calcium you know, they tell us don't look at the sun because it will make us go blind. Sun gazing actually stimulates your pineal gland to open up your, your third eye. So you can move on different dimensions of densities. Everything they ever have told us is a lie. They tell us that our heart is a pump. Your heart is not a pump. Your heart is a valve. Your lungs is a pump that pumps the blood to the heart. The heart is a valve mechanism that controls the cardio output of blood. Everything they tell us about everything is a lie. They tell you your hair is just hair. No, our hair is nine ether hair. It is actually extension of your nervous system. It is used to scan the environment and it brings all of these different melanin neurotransmitters back to your skin to tell you whether to actually engage in the environment or take fight or flight and run away. That's why you get gut feelings. That's why when you see paranormal activities, the hair on your skin stand up. So everything that they ever told us about ourselves is a lie. But it's cool because they don't know who we are. So if we study ourselves and we unlock our junk DNA by eating the right foods we're supposed to be eating, we can awaken something called the Akashic Records. And the Akashic Records is this infinite, endless library inside of your DNA. Your DNA is literally like a hard drive. It holds trillions and trillions and trillions of information. And you have literally a DNA fragment in each of your cells. Remember, you have 150 trillion cells in your body. Every cell have its own coil of histines and DNA. Each of these DNAs if you were able to lay it out, it will fill 600 million page books. That's how much information in you. And we not even tapping into 1% of it because of the environment and what we're eating. So if we just start with the food and change our diets into livets, it would allow us to express who we truly are. And once you find out who you are, can't nobody tell you nothing different about you.